Tell me, tired. Just get me tired. And I'm grinding on this Skyrim game, bro. This Skyrim. I've been playing Skyrim for almost three years, three, four years. And I will gladly say, every time I play, every playthrough I get on, it's always something different. You always learn something new. And today we are going to be talking about this armor that I have. Now this armor that I have on, I don't know if it comes from the DLC or it was already in the vanilla game of Skyrim, but this is the first time I've updated it and I've got matching armor with it. It's called Ebony Ch uh, Chainmail Armor and it's special, it is, it is enchanted and what it does is not only do you move quieter you're quieter while you're wearing it but it also has like this uh auroric all around ability that when enemies are around it it uh basically poisons them five points of damage per second now, I, I thought that was pretty cool but then again now i was like okay but I just learned that it also does it whenever you're sneaking. I guess it, it helps you make it quieter. And then every, t every time you sneak, it does this. But also when you get around enemies, it does that. So I guess just make your sneaking better. And you could just sneak up behind somebody and just poison them without them even knowing, I guess. If you're sneaking good enough. But I'm just loving how it does that. That's, that's, that's why I really... I really wanted to go live. I was like, oh my god, bro. This shit is so fucking cool. Of course, I got the war axe. I'm an axe guy. I like axes. And look at his punk ass. Alright. Punk ass, boy. We're gonna light his ass up. I don't know if I have... Yeah, I ain't got no crossbows. Okay, so... Oh, no, I want them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do not have any bows and arrows. So you know what that means. We got to pull out the bound bow. Find them. And he had a danger heart. Give me that. Hey! Was no yes, sir. Give me everything you got, buddy. You ain't got much. Okay. Where did you come from? That boy, that boy got legs, boy. Y'all saw how fast he run. We must be careful in these ruins. Traps can be anywhere, and there will likely be many. Mirak was trying to take power here and protect himself in the process. So, anybody uh, wondering how far I am, I've beaten, uh, I've beaten the main quest, I've beaten the vampire quest, uh, I just haven't, I haven't beaten the Dragonborn quest yet, I haven't even been to Soul's thing, Soul time. I, I've, I've been in Skyrim the entire time. Even my weapons and my shield go dark, that shit cool.
you get this, get your sneaking up, and then get the perk for the 15 times damage on a dagger. The oh, you can sneak up and kill anybody. Who are the poor souls? I haven't even cages. fought the uh, Ebony what Warrior yet. Did they suffer at Mirak's hands? Was it in service to the dragons? Let me smoke real quick. Or Let me hit the pole. I ain't mean to hit you, girl. Look up there. I think I see something. The stairs are knocked out. I have no doubt you can find a way up. You never know. You may find something of value up there. I shall look around. We can proceed when you are ready. Yes, sir. Weed is from the earth. God put this here for me and you. Take advantage, man. Take advantage. Piece of me wish that the, the Hulk and Droger could at least be harder to kill. I am not that good at alchemy, you guys. I am not good at alchemy at all. I do not do alchemy in this game. I don't make potions. I don't cook. I don't make meals. I don't... I fish. I'll fish in here because in real life, I like fishing. But as far as, like, in the actual game? Shit, no, bro. I'd never do it. In fact, I always ask my wife for food. That's why you get a wife in Skyrim. That's why you get a wife in life, bro. When you get a wife, I feel like you get a wife, you get bigger. You get a woman to cook for you, do your hair for you, all that good stuff. Then your appearance just naturally changes. And it's like if you was doing it for yourself, if you was doing it for yourself, it would be it would be as good, but it'd still be a hassle. But having somebody else do it for you, pretty good, bro. That's just played with other pieces, you know. Now find me a Keep woman. the blade ready. Shut up, girl. I know that. I'm an adventurer. I'm the Dragonborn, okay? Of Skyrim. Of Skyrim. Make sure when you say that, bro. You say you are the Dragon Bar Dragonborn of Skyrim, bro. Mirak is the Dragonborn of Soul Time until you beat him. Where the at, boy? Y'all see him? Right here. Who's there? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, you see my wife? That's my wife right Who's there. Who's there? That's my wife right there. Give me a soul, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey! Give me a soul, boy. Ain't 
anybody new playing uh, Skyrim and look and need some advice, you need some. Well, guess what? I do have some advice for you. Thank God, right? So, when it comes to playing Skyrim, my main piece of advice would be this. Every time you kill an enemy, any time you put that enemy down in a fucking ground, check what they got. Walk around, keep looking. Every time you go to first person, see this is, I don't play Skyrim like this. I don't fight like this. It depends how many uh, people it is, but I don't fight like this. Nobody will say it. Nobody will let you in on it. But if you fight like this, if you fight first person, you actually can block more you can actually do more you can actually you're more actually more likely to get the critical kills you know what i'm talking about you're more likely to get the uh the special kills you're actually more likely to do more damage in first person because you can see what you're doing and you're you're actually hitting the target whereas if like you're in this view you're only reacting off of everything you can see on the whole battleground so this this field will be for more like you know multiple people whereas this one is for like one-on-one -on -one type fights you know and take stuff i just said that i don't uh i don't i don't make potions and stuff like that i do not create potions because that kind of stuff that seems like actual if you have a palette for cooking you know what i mean and i do not have any type palette so yeah uh, just check, you know, and I'm a gold getter, bro. I, I gladly will find gold and potions, health potions, elixirs of strength. I use those sometimes because I, I do know that I'm a, uh, I'm that kind of, per I play something called Dead Island. I do play Dead Island. And, uh, I play Dead Island, so... I'm always like checking stuff and looking for materials and stuff like that. But yeah. Uh somebody just asked me in the chat, how do I how am I doing damage so quickly? Okay, so my level, this character is a level 82. And that's and don't be impressed by that, okay? That do not be impressed by that because I do have a mod on called Faster Leveling Up. Leveling up in Skyrim is only for people who have kind of like a patience, you know what I mean? And depending on how much you do it, uh, depending on how long how, how long you'll you'll find yourself playing this game, it's all about patience and how, what all you do. So I do try to do a lot of things in this game like smithing my smithing is all the way up here and that's only because when it comes to smithing i try to like always be upgrading my armor and always try to find better armor than the armor i already have on type type deal you know what i mean so when it comes to smithing i'm always trying to you know but it depends of like when it also like this right here, enchanting. I can't enchant magical stuff until I get my smithing up to 60. You get what I'm saying? And you'll find a lot of strong weapons in Skyrim, especially like uh, maybe stuff like, I wanna say, uh, what's, a, what's a magical weapon? Uh, Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker is the first weapon or magical weapon a lot of people get that actually is like special special. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's an artifact. But you you know you have to uh, keep putting soul gems and recharging your weapons. So this right here would be useless. Did not useless, but this would be a great skill to have. And you know, so you have to find out that it's not useless to keep you know going back to the smith and doing your own smith and upgrading your you know what I'm saying. Instead of finding weapons and buying weapons, you could make your own weapons. So, you know, I try to go to the smith and I try to upgrade as much as I can. And as y'all can see, the, the perks go up. I get the perks fast. And I upgrade the skill pretty fast because of how often I go back. But, you know, 
if you if you are a logical person, if you are a person who can find logic and 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 you know tactician, you notice that the light armors are always to the left and the heavy armors are always to the right. So that would mean that if you are a heavy armor user, you gotta be upgrading this every time you upgrade this. You go back and you put perks on, you know, on these so you can upgrade the skill faster. And the more you upgrade this, the better of these you'll get, the more you'll last doing the other stuff, you know. So if you're a warrior, all your warrior skills will go up, you know, much faster. But if you're a mage or even a, a sneak thief, you know what I mean? Look, my, my speech my speech will be the only thing that'll really be like that that doubles up higher then my uh the only I don't pickpocket I, I hate people who do shit like that I can't stand that shit that shit is annoying I'm real big on like personal space personal space like I, I'm a good energy to have, but it's like personal space, man. Please don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit annoying. Please don't get too close. Get away from me, man. You're too close. You're in my universe. Get away from me. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like that for a lot of people, man. Some people just don't like to be touched. So, I'm not saying that I'm like that. I'm just saying, like, I feel like I have my own... My own little, my own, my own little world energy about my body. You know what I mean? I only invite women and and shit like that in for hugs. You know? If I do, if I see like, if I know you, bro, and you my dude, my bro, I dap you up and I give you just a shoulder. That's it. Just a shoulder. Just a shoulder. Boom. Don't go, go, go for no hug. And bring it in close. No, just a shoulder. Just the shoulder. <laughs> Just the shoulder, man. But yeah. Back to the game. Back to the game. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. Some people, like a lot of people don't play Skyrim for, like, petty Who's there? <laughs> So this is what we do. Now, Draugr, uh, Draugr, Death, 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 Draugr Lords, or whatever they called. I don't know what they called. I forgot. But those guys, bro, a bunch of those guys, and then the minor, like not the minor lesser Draugr, but the the ones that can summon shit and still hit you and be hitting you with the ice spell. Those, that's a deadly combination. You might die right there. Okay. You might die. You know what I mean? trying to kill me healing spell healing spells come in handy now. yes sir And we found a bow. We needed a bow and we found one, you guys. Now we just gotta make it legendary before we uh make our perks. And she dropped her weapon, or they probably disarmed her. We're gonna go find it. Uh 
I could give her one of these, but I'd have to make it. You know what I mean? And go a sword. Like, I could give her a sword, but I'd rather have an axe. Really, I might just give her. Oh, no, her shit right here. Okay, we found it. Never mind. We good. Women always losing stuff, am I right, fellas? You have a grim look. You always losing shit. If her, if her shit was right here, where's her... Where would her shield be? That shield was legendary, too. <laughs> Trying to find her shield. That shield was legendary, boy. You have a... You sure? Fine. I'll stand watch. She nored it down, boy. She got the, the evil Nordic in this egg. place must be rooted out. She got the armor. She just ain't got a helmet on. Then she got that stall room. Stall room is the strongest armor on this game. Strongest thing on this game, bro. I love that shit. At first, I thought it was like uh, dragon armor was the strongest. You thought you would think dragon armor. You know what I mean? Shall we get moving? Fine. Let's trade then. Back to the great the task of waiting. I think I forgot to tell. Yeah, I forgot to tell. To the next fight. Not necessarily, but it's like, you know, gold, man. By the time, it's, it's like, by the time you done did a whole cave, you done found like 3,000, 4,000 gold, and not even realize it, you know what I mean? Like, you'll probably find that in weapons or merch, whatever, that you hey. can trade back. It doesn't matter, you gonna, you gonna make gold. Must be like, out. You gonna make gold if you just keep finding stuff. But only take stuff, only take stuff that matters. You know what I mean? Like. 
I'm not going down there. It would be foolish to attempt it. You have a much better chance than I to make it through these traps. I have no doubt that lever turns these blades. I shall wait here for now. My blood's... You sure? Fine. I'll stand watch. How'd she know I had a better chance? Thank you. Mirak took great pains to make it difficult to reach him, it seems. Shall we get moved Let us to the next that fight? The Gotta time. take care of your wife, you know. Come on, y'all. Gotta take care of the wife, you feel me? Gotta hurry up. You're right, I did. So, okay, some people ask me how I'm doing damage and what's that beam that's coming back after I kill him. So, to get your enchanting up, bro, to get your enchanting up, you gotta keep enchanting and recharging your weapons. You know what I'm saying? So, every time you recharge your weapon and you use it and you gotta recharge it again, your, your enchanting will go up a couple of points like this. And you'll be able to get access to better, better, you know, perks. So, what I do is, I want to get my shit up. As this goes over, and I get it to a higher level, I want to get this as high as I can. So, all new enchantments are 100% stronger. That means that you'll be able to get more, you know what I'm saying, out of using your enchantments. Okay? But that's over time. Then... I want to get this. This is skills. This is for stuff like uh, better one-handed, better two-handed, uh, stamina recharging, you know, health regeneration, health, more health points, more stamina points, more magic points, stuff like that. Whereas this stuff right here is just for straight damage. Your storm, fire, and ice. You want to get all of these, kind of, because there's this new ability, and uh, there I don't know if it's new, but I do know that it's it's it was so fucking cool when I got it. It's uh, it's basically like a random. It'll be like a random chance of you doing fire, ice, or lightning damage. It's a rand it's a fifty percent change. I think it's so fucking cool. And you got this right here. This is another twenty five percent. This is another twenty five percent that you get to use on your on your enchantments being stronger. Whereas these, I don't never get these for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't ever get them. Recharging the weapon. So, I should probably get these. But the reason I don't get them is because I'm so fucking close to getting this stuff. And I kind of want these things so I can just go ahead and get my stall room iron armor and then put the perks on it and then just increase my enchanting. Because once you, this is this is the main thing I want. This right here. This extra effect. You get to put two enchantments on the same item. But get some stall room armor. That's the strongest armor. 
and then I probably make some star room armor like light and heavy and then I reset this my my smithing I probably upgraded all the way to a legendary and then I'll put like two really good I put a whole bunch of enchantments on it and then and I just reset it and I just get stuff because it my enchanting and my smite then I, I wouldn't have to care about it for a while I just gotta max this out and then once I'm done maxing this out if I want to keep it I'll keep it but if not I'll just make it legendary and then I'll just go to wearing my light armor and then you know max that out you know and then light armor is real good for sneaking and you know stuff like that whereas if you was wearing heavy armor you'll probably be more you'll you'll probably get seen faster people will see you but it's better for blocking and two-handed and one-handed archery my archery is pretty good like i'm a good archer i think i think sometimes i sometimes i have some good shots like i get some good shots off By my side. Oh, wifey. Anybody that want to know how to like, I know how to bring militias with me, boy. I I can have like, I think I don't know if it's this one, but I I can have a, a like a little goblin. I'd have my wife. I'd have the little summoning thing. I'd have like sanguine. Boy, it'd be like five of us, six of us. Then I can have. I think I can have a. a you can have like a. You too, like a. What's his name? Cuz, like, uh, Brynjolf. You could bring, when you gotta go meet Brynjolf, instead of bring, instead of meeting him, when he leave with you, you can masters. just be, take him with you places. But his path seems to be and he never dies. It's crazy. Now, people I you hire for money, they die.
trying to hit me with lightning. Deeper can this be? I had been told that Mirak's That's what she said. But you have built so large a temple. It cannot be much farther now. I have heard Mirak has turned against the dragon cult, but to display the remains of such a man as this. Wait, what was that? Something feels wrong. Brace yourself. None of them, boy. Damn, y'all see how disoriented I am now? After that hard ass fight. This shit was hard, boy. Standing on my nuts. Oh, back and forth. We gotta go. All right. So if y'all pulling a, a old man moment like I am right now, this is what you do. All right. Here we go. Shit, where's my wife? Uh, might have just lost my wife. Oh.
impossible. There must be something more. Look around. I will let you know if I find anything in the dining area. I wonder if there is something here that tells the story of Mira. Rush through this, man. I want my star room armor. Be on your guard.
is wrong somehow. Not. It may be what we see. I ain't gonna cap, I thought that was raw. But then I found the same powers. I was like, man, you tripping, bro. I really will come back and kill you. Once I get my armors. You read the book and then it seemed as what happened to you. You read the book and then it seemed as though you were not really here. I could see you, but also see through you. Where? Where is he? Can we reach him? Can we kill him? This is a dangerous thing, then. We should return to my village and show this to my father. Perhaps Storm can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. Hopefully my wife be with me when I come out this bitch. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let me take one good little smoke. Let me hit this bowl one good time, y'all. Hold on. You see that green light? That comes from the windstone. Where my people work against their will. They must be freed soon. There she is. Okay, come on, man. The village is just ahead. Thorn has used his magic to raise a barrier around him, protecting the few of us left. But the barrier is still there, is it concerned?
father! I have returned. There is yet hope. Freya, what news do you bring? Is there a way to free our people? No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I fear that it is so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm what has happened. So you have seen things, yes? My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. How do you know this? The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine, but if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was Dragonborn. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the windstorm. You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. Darkness never touch you.
they have for the government. Here you Have a grim look. Fortune smiles. Here's your share. Malakath, witness our deeds. And when the world has seen Hey!
know things, hidden things, things you aren't supposed to know. <gasps> Good idea. They might leak out. Don't want them crawling into your head too, like me. They're in my head, right now, saying things. Secret hidden things. Uh, the secret kind. The black book. It shoved them in there with black, slick fingers. My fingers are too short. I can't get them out. Oh no, I didn't find it. It found me. Here, I'll show you. See? Right there! But don't go there! You don't want these things in your head. You don't! You don't! That's all you've got?
down.